On April 14th and 17th, Boko Koton grave crimes continued hearing on the case of journalist Paris Hashemli and his arch accomplice Tevekil Gurbanov. Judge Novruz Karimov chaired all the proceedings. Witnesses who were to be testifying in today's hearing were not attending. The defense petition was requesting the Russia-based manufacturer of Makarov guns to provide information as to which country was the importer of the weapons mentioned in this case was not granted by the judge. The defense also filed a motion to bring the $2,800 to the court and check if banknotes bear handprints of Hashemli when it turned out that money had already been handed over to the treasurer of MNS. April 17th hearing started with questioning of the circumstantial witness who was drunk during his previous questioning. His testimony was inconsistent with the previous one. Speaking during the process, journalist Hashemli said, as the detention center's chief promised to ensure a meeting for him with his family, he agreed to stop the hunger strike, which he had started two days before. Hashemli also filed a request for identification of Iranian citizens whose names are mentioned in this case, which was not satisfied by the judge. Note that Bizimiel newspaper journalist and moderator as editor in chief Pervis Hashemli was detained on September 17th by employees of the Minister of National Security. Main Investigation Department of MNS launched a case against him with three articles of the Azerbaijan Criminal Code. Article 206.3.2 Smuggling of firearms on preliminary arrangement by an organized group. Article 228.2.1 Illegal purchase, transfer, selling, storage, transportation, and carrying of firearms, their accessories, supplies, and explosives by an organized group. And Article 228.2.2 The same acts committed repeatedly. On April 15th, a group of internally displaced people held a protest in front of the building of State Committee of the Republic of Azerbaijan on deals of refugees and internally displaced persons. IDPs blocked the Tbilisi Avenue, but the road was unblocked following a police intervention. Protesters were IDPs from Agdam, Khojali, Kelbeja and Khojaran regions. They were told that they will be received by the State Committee officials. On April 15th, 16th and 17th, the trial of the seven Nida movement actors and member of Azad Genjik organization Ilkin Ustamzadeh continued in Baku court on grave crimes. Jehun Bayramov, the expert who gave opinion regarding the bottles and puzzles taken during the search in Mehmet Azizov's, Bekhtiar Guliev's and Shahin Novruz's apartments, testified. He gave inconsistent answers to the questions. Video questioning of three actors in the Minister of National Security was displayed afterwards. On April 17th, the public prosecutor requested sentences for the defendants. Eight and a half years for Zahar Gurbanlı, Rashadet Ahundov, eight years for Rashad Hasanov, eight and a half years for Ilkin Ustamzade, eight years for Bekhtiyar Guliev, Mehmet Azizov, six and a half years for Shahin Novruzlu, and seven and a half years for Uzeyr Mehmetli. The youth announced that as of today they start hunger strike in protest against the prosecutor's speech. Note that the seven actors of Nida Civic Movement were detained in April and May of 2013 and are charged with planning to use Molotov cocktails during a mass protest in Baku on March 10, 2013. Some of the youth are also charged with illegal possession of drugs. Member of the Azad Genjik organization Ilkin Usamzade, who is co-accused with Nida actors, was detained on May 17, 2013. He was first charged with hooliganism, then additional with organizing rights and attempting to participate in them. On April 16th, Institute for Democratic Initiatives held a press conference at the press center of the IRFS in connection with the refusal to register the NGOs. The conference discussed refusal of independent NGOs applications for registration. The Institute for Democratic Initiatives has sued the Minister of Justice, said the chairman of the NGO and the member of the Central Election Commission, Akif Gurbanov. According to Gurbanov, although they applied to the Minister of Justice for registration, their documents were turned down without any consideration. On April 17th, Baku Court on Grave Crimes held a preliminary hearing on the case of Facebook actors Abdul Abilov. Judge Ahmed Guliev presided over the process. Lawyer Khalid Bagra filed two petitions during the hearing. Calling Abilov's detention illegal, the lawyer said his constitutional right and Article 5 of the European Human Rights Convention has been violated. In his second petition, the lawyer requested dismissal of irrelevant evidences from the case, asserting that, while collecting evidence, the law on search operation was violated. The investigative measure was implemented without a relevant court order. Preliminary investigation interrogations were conducted under pressure. Note that Abdul Abil was admin of the Facebook page Let's Say No to Flatterers, known for sharp criticism of the authorities. He was detained on November 22, 2013 and charged with illegal possession, storage, manufacturing or sale of drugs which stipulates a prison sentence for up to 12 years. The Youth Committee of the Azerbaijan Popular Front Party has started a new campaign for release of political prisoners. On April 17th, the committee gave detailed information in press conference held at the press center of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety about the campaign launched on Facebook on April 14th. The campaign named release calls for full freedom for political prisoners. 
There was a consensus among the speakers that social networks are an important place to call for the release of political prisoners. On April 18th, parents of Nidal movement activists held a press conference at the press center of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety. Parents of arrested activists are starting open-ended hunger strike on April 20th, demanding release of all prisoners. It was a protest of parents, in protest against a prosecutor who requested length of prison sentences for their sons. The action will be held at the headquarters apartment of Musawat Party. This way, they will demonstrate solidarity with the actors who had already started hunger strike at the investigation facility on April 17th.